Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another key mod update. So I've been working on this for the past two days and I've added a bunch of new features. One of them you guys actually suggested in the last video. So uh, I'll be showing you guys what that is today. But if you remember in the previous video, my shack here was basically overgrown like with all these plants and stuff. My gardener hadn't come and uh, what I decided to do was call up another new gardening service, fired the last guy and uh, he, he's done an amazing job. Uh, my friend Carlos, his name is, uh, came over here, tidied this all up, and it's looking amazing. He organized all my wood, he uh, cleaned up the fire pit, removed the pig from the fire here. He's done a good job, I'm gonna have to leave him some good feedback. But anyway, let's get into my shack now. Uh, I've changed around the keys because uh, the previous gardening company actually knew it, and uh, I didn't want them coming back here. Uh, come intruding into my house because they uh, knew what the key was. Now I actually brought all my keys this time, not like last time where I forgot them, so let's see if we can find the front door key here. Uh, nope, nope, uh, nah. Uh, ah, there it is. Let's open it up now. Ah, and there we go. So I've tidied up all this inside here as well, so I, uh, I cleaned everything up, there was rubble everywhere, there was spider webs, and I've uh, returned it back to its normal state. Now what you actually just noticed there was me using a key ring. So this is an item which allows you to store six keys on it, and basically it reduces the amount because before you would have to have each key out in its own individual slot. But now what you can actually do is put it on a key ring and then you can, you can actually open up multiple things with it. So I could be able to open up this door here um, just to prove that this door is actually locked. If I go ahead and I take this shack key off it and I try to open it now, as you can see, none of these keys fit the lock, so we actually need to have the shack key on it if we want to be able to open it. If you want, um, you can still use it like a normal key, so if you take that out, we can still open it up like so. And this is what you guys actually suggested in the last video. I looked at the comments and you guys said that I should add in basically a key ring so you can put multiple keys together. So here it is guys, I've added it in for you. But anyway, how I actually craft this key ring is if we go into here, what we're going to do is get out one of these iron ingots. I'm going to go into this crafting table over here, put that in there, and as you'll see, we get nine iron nuggets. If we actually get those nuggets and we put them in a circle shape like this, this will give you a key ring. Now one of the things I'm most impressed and happy about is if we actually go ahead and open it up here, we're going to take some keys off here actually. We're going to put them into this new ring here. If we actually open this new key ring up and we put the keys on, you'll notice that the graphic adjusts to how many keys are actually on there. So every two keys, it will actually add a new key onto the graphic here, just so you can tell how many keys you've actually got on it. So we've got four on it now, so that means there's two keys on the graphic. And then once we add the fifth and the sixth, that means it's got three keys on it, so it's a pretty bulky pack of keys. It will also tell you in the, uh, if you look at the item info down the bottom there, it'll say key ring and then it'll say how many keys are actually on it. If you hover over it as well, it will actually tell you all the keys that are on it. So we've got the fridge key, we've got the plane, helicopter, the shack, the Ferrari, and the love heart key. Now one thing you can't do with these normal keys is actually lock something. Now there is a little bug at the moment which I gotta fix up, but um, if you were to actually try and right click this, um, it will return a message saying that you can only use one key to lock it, because this is basically a bunch of keys. So if you did want to lock it, what you would do is get the key out of the keyring, and then simply just lock it as you would, and then what you can do is just open up the keyring, put it back in, and now as you can see, um, Okay, there's a bit of a bug there. <laughs> That's really embarrassing, I'll have to look into that. Anyway, the next thing I've actually added in is this. So this here is a key rack. Now you probably noticed it in the corner of the screen there. If we actually go up to it and right click it, it's gonna open up a GUI with four slots and it's pretty obvious what this actually does. So if we go ahead and stick our key ring into one of these slots on the key rack here, it's going to display the keys hanging up. How awesome is that? So you can either display um, it on a key ring or you can, if we actually go out, go ahead and get the uh, keys out of there. So let's just get four of them out. And then we put them on the key rack. 
it can display individual keys as well so now I thought as this is a key mod it would be fun to add something like this in to store your keys uh, it's a lot cooler than actually being able to like just put them in a chest or something like that um, you actually store them up on a normal rack now how you actually make the key rack is uh, let's get the right key I have the keys in here helicopter so if I open that up and what we're gonna do is grab this iron and these three dark oak logs if we go over to the chest here what we're gonna do is create some more iron nuggets then we're gonna place three in a line in the middle there and then three of these logs on top and then this will create you a key rack so we've got the key rack now we can place it down say so boom and then simply open it up place your keys on it and Bob's your uncle now there's one last thing to show off if we actually go outside uh, let's try and find the right key here shack where's my shack key there it is so if I go outside real quickly I've added in some new security features and this is something that I discovered um, while just playing around and that is that you can actually still use redstone on the door and what I've done is I've actually added in a security feature that will basically stops redstone activating the door so if I go ahead in here and I get a redstone torch if I place it in front of this uh, door here it's not actually going to open it up and even if we like attempt to uh, open it, update it um, it's not going to do anything you can also put like a redstone repeater going into this block here still does nothing now another problem I came across with is that if you actually break the block below it it actually destroys the door and allows you to get in so if we actually go ahead and we just chuck this key away uh, if we go ahead and try to break this bottom block as you can see it's not letting me do it this is because this is a locked door and we're not actually able to uh, break it down because it's locked so if you try to break the block underneath it's not going to allow you to do that but anyway, that's going to end off this update today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you like the new features that have been added. Um, and again, thank you guys for making suggestions for this mod. Um, if you do have any more suggestions, let me know in the comments because I'm definitely open to ideas and I would definitely want to add um, some more features to this mod because I'm just having some just having some fun developing it. Even though it's probably not going to be big or anything, I'm just I just kind of like the challenge and. Uh, um, creating just a, I reckon it's, it's a cool mod. Also remember to hit that like button and I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Now, where do I leave my helicopter?